Hello and welcome back to another Walking Dead video. Today we'll be reviewing Fear the Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 9, Follow Me. And to be honest, I don't think I could talk too much about this episode, just because not a lot really happened, so this could end up being quite a lot smaller than my normal reviews. Or I could just waffle and be normal like. So let's just jump right into this. I'll try and minimise all spoilers. So the plot of this episode is to do with Alicia. So it's good we get more Alicia episodes. I like we're getting more Alicia episodes. It's a shame it's this episode because it's not the best to be honest. But the plot of this Alicia episode is that Alicia went over to Otto. You know the bad guy. The guy I think is going to be the main villain of the back half of season 7B, the uh, other guy, the third party in this war, and it didn't go well, okay, and Alicia passed out, and the episode starts with her being found by this deaf guy, and it's literally, the plot is just her dealing with this deaf guy, them talking, not much really goes on, they have a fight with Otto, and he goes back home. There is a bit more after that with Morgan at the end, but that's really the episode. Not much really happens in this episode, and because the story is so paper thin, with just it's a lot of talking. You'd think a mid-season open would have a lot of combat, but no, it's a lot of talking. And looking at why they put released two episodes in one go, I definitely think is because they thought the Alicia episode wasn't strong for Stand by Itself. I originally thinking, nah, it's the Charlie episode. That's the episode they couldn't have it by itself, no one will watch it. But no, I think they definitely had a flip. And I am surprised to say that the Alicia episode, I think is the reason the Charlie episode comes straight after it. I haven't watched the Charlie episode yet, because I'm recording this before I watched the Charlie episode. But I just definitely think this is going to be the worst episode of the two, and this is the reason why they're doing back-to-back -back episodes this week. Because nothing happens in this episode. It's 100% filler. It does move the story slightly onwards, with Alicia realising that she's the voice, she's the leader that she needs to be, she's not looking for other people, and it's Alicia's kind of basically coming out to, I'm the leader, I need to lead people, I can't be following walkers or other people. I am happy though they're finally having Alicia realise that she's meant to be the leader, not anyone else, which is cool. It's a shame it happened in this episode because the story's bad. The pacing is so bad because it really drags in places where they're like, oh, we're going to have this really long, drawn out like scene with these two characters talking, but I don't care about this deaf guy. I only somewhat care about Alicia. She is annoying. I don't care about this conversation with the deaf guy and I don't want to call him Otto. His name could be Otto, could not be Otto. I just don't care about a lot of the characters in this story so these long drawn out scenes i'm like i don't care and another thing that really annoys me is okay so they have a struggle with okay it's meant to be a leash episode but why is it focused so much on the deaf guy talking about the deaf guy they really tried to make us feel bad for this character i really didn't care and another thing i didn't like about the deaf guy is that okay i don't know if the actor is deaf or not and if they are it's more of the direction or the acting not him being deaf. That's the issue. And so basically, right at the start of the episode, uh, they establish that he's deaf by him saying, okay, I can't understand what you're saying. You have to speak slower. And Alicia looks him dead in the eyes and speaks at the same speed and he suddenly understands her. And you're like, no, Alicia didn't speak slower, so how did you understand her? And I just didn't like it. I also don't like how there's so many scenes where... Alicia and him are talking and he is not looking at Alicia's face or Alicia's looking away and they can understand each other and he's answering to her questions when she's not looking. There's a scene where he's looking down at his gun, reloading his gun. Alicia says something and he turns and says a conversation back to her and you're like, no, that doesn't make sense. You're deaf. How did you hear her when you were looking at your gun? There's another shot where he's like looking at the roof or looking away or Alicia's looking away and it happens it happens three or four times I count three or four times where this happens it's like okay either he's deaf and he just knows his lines and he's just answering his lines or the actor just forgot he's meant to be playing a deaf guy and it just answered without looking at Alicia I just didn't like it I just broke emergency when the deaf character can hear people when he can answer people without looking at them and I just didn't like it it just felt a bit stupid I do also want to want the music this episode episode and it's not very good however i do want to give them something and i thought it was quite cool and in those really long drawn out like pacing killing scenes we get with conversations with deaf guy and alicia i like how in those scenes there's either minimal music when alicia's talking or if it's all about the deaf guy there's no music and i like how it symbolizes how he's deaf i didn't like the character i just liked the music how it's just like oh there's no music here just because it's meant to connect to he's deaf he has no theme tune 
I thought that was cool. But other than that cool thing I found when whenever the deaf guy's talking in those big scenes when he has emotions, he's talking about his past stuff, we get no music. The music's just terrible. Like we get some Beethoven like blast into our TVs. I didn't care too much. The music's just kind of bad this episode. It doesn't look nice. The cinematography's not very good this episode. It's weird going from The Walking Dead, which I don't like the way its story's going, but I like the way it looks. And I'm like, oh, that looks so good with all these cool shots. And then you watch Fear the Walking and you're like, oh, the camera's always static. It's not very nice to look at. I've gotten over the bit. Oh, it looks like Fallout thing. It looks cool. I've gotten over that now. I'm like, it's very orange. It's very orange now. I've gotten over the coolness of, we actually have colour. We actually have colour for once. To, oh, it's orange all the time. It's quite boring. I don't like it. And so it's not very good looking. The music's boring. I do want to talk about the ending, so there'll be some spoilers here, but the ending doesn't make much sense for an episode that is kind of lacklustre. You get to this ending, and then Alicia finds a child, and then she has a dream and realises it's her, and it's just like, what? I don't like the ending. They did set up Alicia's story this season to create Padre at the submarine, which is, in my opinion, one of the worst ideas possible. Basically, she's planning to use people. And you're like, Alicia, you're meant to be the good guy, but you're going to use desperate people. I didn't like it. It was just a very nonsensical ending. They're like, oh, Alicia's the good guy. But no, if you think about it, what Alicia's doing is she's getting desperate people to join her. And then she's going to force them to fight in a war they don't care about. That is straight up villain. And I didn't like it. It's just the ending was quite bad. The ending is meant to hook you, but it did the opposite. I was like, the ending doesn't make sense. What is this child? And they're milking Alicia's sickness. I didn't like the ending. It wasn't a very good ending. This episode is lacking in all action. I didn't like Alicia. Like, the actor for Alicia must have been held back because she wasn't entertaining at all this episode. It was just like, oh, it's Alicia. I didn't care. Like, I normally like episodes with Alicia in. Episode 8 was a really good Alicia episode, in my opinion. She was pretty stupid, but I liked it. Then you had this episode, which is like, was she holding back or something? Was she phoning it in? I just didn't like it. It wasn't very good the supporting cast was terrible the pacing was so bad from all the conversations it was just like screeching to a halter point you're like oh, i want this to end and when it finally ended you're like oh, i feel like i spent three hours watching it the pacing's bad the story is nonsensical it's not a very good episode and i can't think of much else to say over this episode other than i should just move over to my one sentence last one word overall view and this is definitely one of the worst episodes in season seven just because it doesn't move the part forwards like we had like filler episodes like sarah's and dwight's episodes which were 100 percent filler this is 110 percent but also moving the story forward slightly with alicia's character progression realizing that she is meant to be the leader not meant to be following a walker i would have to say this is one of the weakest if not the weakest mid-season opener we've ever had on fear and a lot of the Walking Dead week mid-season openers we've had are better than this, in my opinion. This is one of the weakest mid-season openers we've had in the universe. It's just quite bad. And if I had to do one word, it's one sentence. I would just say, it's bad. Okay, this is a bad episode. It's not worth watching. Like, you could skip it and someone could be like, oh yeah, Alicia, she figured out she's going to create Padre. It's not very good. I don't like it. It's boring. It's a very bad episode. It's The ending doesn't even make sense. I'm, I don't like the ending, but please tell me down below, what do you think? Did you like the episode? Did you not like the episode? Do you think it's useless? Please tell me, what do you think about this review? And if you want more Walking Dead content, look on the screen for more reviews, videos, all the time. You'll find something I should like. And feel free to subscribe for more Walking Dead content every week to be up to date all the time on all things Walking Dead. This is it for me today, so goodbye, peace out, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.